Cambridge Ideas, transforming tomorrow. Insects have to be the most incredible creatures on this planet. Not only can they walk up and down smooth surfaces, but they can suspend themselves almost weightlessly from the ceiling, from a smooth surface. So if I give them this weight, 500 milligrams, that's a hundred times their body weight. It's like you holding a truck while hanging upside down from a smooth surface. How on earth do they do this? The answer is in their feet. My name is Chris Clement. I'm a zoologist and I love studying these insects. I study beetles, I study cockroaches, but there is one type of ant that is incredibly good at sticking to these smooth surfaces. This is an Asian weaver ant and I'm now trying to unlock the secrets of their sticky feet. I've got an ant's foot here, the claws either side, and that's a pad in the middle. Beautiful. The first thing I saw, soft pads, which I thought was great. That means they can conform to any surface they want and stick to it. But on closer inspection, I found microscopic little bumps and ridges. Small, but big enough to stop them from coming into complete contact with the surface. This couldn't be the answer. So what makes them stick? It must be something else. I need to look underneath an ant's foot. There it is, looking through the glass onto the surface of its soft pad. And I can see tiny droplets of fluid. The first clue, the ant's feet are wet. That means the pad can come into close contact with the surface and the fluid fills in the gaps left over and makes them stick together. As an example, imagine if you will, this beaker is our ant's foot and this plate of glass, the surface it wants to stick to. Now the bottom of the beaker is perfectly flat, but it's not quite smooth enough for the surfaces to stick together. Watch what happens when I pour a little droplet of fluid onto it. There, our beaker can now lift up our glass plate. This is how the ants stick to a smooth surface, capillary adhesion. So, problem solved, right? Wrong. If the ants are so good at sticking to the surface, how do they get unstuck? We filmed the ants while they were walking and what we noticed is that when the ant took a step, its pads were unfolded, flat to the surface. But when the pad was lifted, the ant could fold up its pad. It reduces all that contact area with the surface and doesn't stick anymore. Go back to my beaker again. If I tilt it on the side, it's like the ants it reduces the contact area and I can lift it off the surface effortlessly. This is incredible. A foldable foot. <laughs> Imagine if your foot could unfold and stick to the ground and, and then retract so you can walk up a wall. Clever ants. So the ants have got these pads that when they pull it towards them, it sticks. When they push it away from them, it lets go. Perfect for climbing, but another problem develops. When you want to come back down, if you turn head down, then your pads are going to detach now. Certain doom. Well, I couldn't look at my ants anymore because they were too small. I had to go to something bigger. My friends, the cockroaches. One of the largest cockroaches in the world. So now I'm going to film cockroaches as they run up and down a smooth surface. When they run up the surface, they use their end pad, not unlike the ants do. Oh, that's beautiful. But when they run head down, they use this second pad, which is in the opposite direction to the pad on the tip. They have two pads in opposite directions, one for running up, one for running down. Clever cockroaches! <laughs> and all insects I've looked at so far seem to have this second pad for breaking on the same foot. I find insects are amazing. 
Some of the smallest creatures on Earth have solved some of the biggest problems of sticking things together and getting them unstuck again. Learning from these insects, we're now able to develop things that we didn't think were possible. Super super glues that not only can stick incredibly well to a surface, but can become unstuck at any time. People are developing little robots that are able to climb up smooth walls and on the ceilings. Who knows, if I learn from these insects, I might find myself walking on the ceiling too.